Hey folks, this is Michael Russell, Film Photography Project, and I'm here with fellow podcaster John Fidelli. Hi, John. How do you do? So this is a Yashica 8 camera with regular 8 50 daylight color film. It's always exciting to see your stuff when you get it back at first, right? Oh, my God. It really You're is. You're always like, a little excited and nervous at the same time. So what you'll get at the beginning of every roll, as you can see, is because the film is on a 50-foot... <laughs> That's the uh, daylight burning in. So what was your experience like shooting with this little camera? I love that camera. It really is so simple to use. It's uh, you know nice to hold. It's not awkward at all. I just loved using it. How did you, because it has a, 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 a D-mount lens with F-stops on it, mm-hmm. how did you go about getting your, your exposure for this? Uh, I just used the meter in my uh, phone, very simply. Plus, you had a meter out, so I was kind of... So it's an app? There's an app, yeah. It was one of the first uh, metered apps that I was aware of. Do you give any thought to, like when I handed you the camera, did you give any thought as to how you were going to shoot this roll of film? Nope. Just started walking around seeing what was going on. These are my kids having a grand old time uh, swinging back and forth. <laughs> That's a very popular yes. event at the Crab the Trampoline, Fest. yeah. Trampoline and the water throwing are two And the ball that rolls things. around. Yeah. That was new this year. That was a new twist. Yeah. That's uh, Mark's wife and his brother-in-law and, and they're, they're, they're doing the, the boil they're doing the crab boil they're throwing, yep there it is that's called a crab boil there it is you got to your shrimp you got your uh, lobsters in there and you got some potatoes and mussels and now you dump it now what is your th- do you have any thoughts about the quality of this versus super 8 or not really this looks fantastic this I, I, I have no problem with this at all I thought it was going to look greenier and you know, uh, more contrasty, but this looks, it surpassed all my expectations of what it was going to look like. So regular regular 8 is on a 25-foot roll. It's 16 millimeters in width, and Mm -hmm. when you shoot one side of it, you have to... There's the camera. Yeah, you have to take your film out and flip it. Flip it good. Which John is doing right now in footage that I shot Mm -hmm. on the FPP Sonic... 25 film. There we go. All ready to go. Now, is this with the long lens now? On the second half of your roll, you swapped out. You had two lenses. You had a a normal lens, which is 13 millimeter on regular 8. And then you've been uh, touting your 38 millimeter lens. Yes. It's been sitting on my shelf for years. My sister got it at a flea market along with... uh, one of those is one of the Revere 88s. Yes. It's just been sitting there. There it is. Been waiting for you to, to put film out. Yeah, so so it, it's it's fogged. I'm guessing the glass elements on the actual lens yeah, have picked up some residue or something over the years. Well, I want to see what it looks like if I did any shots where there was some extreme light. These are all in shadow. So it would probably look awesome if there was direct sunlight or... You know, some strong. I think that's direct sun. Well, you saw direct sunlight. Yeah. You get a glow. Yeah. So if it was less in shadow and more in direct light, it probably would look pretty cool. But now it just kind of looks. The great part about this, as I mentioned to you on the phone the other day, was that when you're shooting with such a long lens, you could shoot people without them knowing you're shooting. Yes. Very voyeuristic. You're able to get people as they are, as opposed to, like, them stopping and waving. Being awkward in the moment. Being killed because they're... You know, on the trying, spot, trying to look nice for the camera. Back to the uh, original 13 millimeter lens. Pretty crisp looking. Great colors. Look at it. Like the red's popping. Yellow's nice. The colors are beautiful. Yeah. I mention to people almost all the time if you're picked up a camera and some lenses at a thrift store or wherever on your shelf, someone gave it to you, it's always best to do a test run, one roll. Before you go out, like, on a big family vacation right. or something that... Before you shoot something you want to keep. Yeah. Because you just don't know. And a lot of film photography project listeners who have been shooting home movies have done that. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's very important. It pays to do that. Yeah, you don't want to you know, put yourself emotionally in something and then have it come back and look awful. 
Well, there it is. There it goes, burning up into the sun. Well, thank you, John. Well, thank you. A very good camera. And thanks for putting out all these film stocks and, you know, reigniting the eight millimeter, or as we call it, the millimeters. <laughs> <laughs>